Okay, this is just a quick base tour while I... Mostly so I can just show off this early stage base before I wind up dismantling large parts of it. Finding out about the actually edition storage crates was a godsend. Look how huge these things are. This is just a small storage crate too, which is easy to make in early game uh, in the sea. See, I'm using Pam's ground traps. Those have been great. I love them. This is actually the first time I've wound up using them in a game. See, I'm using both grain and fruit baits right now. Although setting them up was entertaining because they need to have a dirt block below them, and if you've played this mod pack, you will know that there's the ocean directly below these blocks. So I got to do some fun diving. Let's see, got a little wheat farm here, got a worm, again from Actually Editions, very helpful. Also, I appreciate the mod pack designer putting these little holes in the ground so that we can access water for irrigating our fields, but having leaves in them. These, technically they're supposed to have spruce leaves, but I accidentally broke this one, so it got replaced. Anyways, blackberries to produce fruit for a, my fruit, bait. B, the water maker thing, even though I finally realized I didn't need to do that, because I'm a silly, silly person. And C, for eating. Potatoes, carrots, beetroots. Also, it really kind of frustrates me that uh, beetroots cannot be composted. See, I primarily wind up using them for veggie bait, and I use the seeds for compost. Yes, we're back to actually additions. Once you've got enough iron to make a knife, I really recommend making that, along with these compost bins, because then you can turn seeds and all the other extra stuff into compost, into, in, into fertilizer, and use that as a bone meal replacement. Which is handy when you don't have a lot of bone meal. Got some nether wart going. Got my sieve. Got all that good stuff. I replaced my Azuelo box with sand, which it was also entertaining because I forgot at first that sand sinks. So I had to put some blocks underneath it. Anyways, sand, sugarcane, all that good stuff. Replaced the bottom here with a trapdoor and a ladder going down because I was originally ex planning to expand below my base before I decided that that was some serious bullshit without any supplies, without any good water supplies. See, it was pointed out to me later on that making a, using this to make a fairly decent tunnel down to the bed, down to the uh, mountain, or there, there's some stone and gravel not too far down here, so you can make a tunnel and just start digging in if you want. I did not wind up doing that because I had already put a lot of time and effort into getting this place going. And I just wanted to see how far I could go with that. Bed, all that exciting stuff. Let's see. I used to have a chicken coop here, but then when I finally had the materials to make quartz glass, replaced, re got, collected all the eggs from the chickens, removed the chickens, and started expanding. You, the cobble is where I had to replace, is where there was no native stone. Native stone is, of course, native stone. Uh, I also made myself some magenta glass to keep up with the aesthetic. Let's see, here I am digging out a machine room. It's an interesting project because you may notice all this cobble and the water dripping down from the ceiling. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing battle with the ocean. But this is going to be where the coke furnace, coke oven, blast furnace, and um, tinker smeltery go when I'm done digging it out and have the supplies to make that stuff. Let's see, some Batania set up. See, there was originally some hydrangeas here, but then I got some endoflames going. And just, you know, feed them into the mana pool, feed the mana pool pe feeds the runic altar. There's a storage crate here, hold stuff, including some of my root stuff. Haven't got, gotten started with roots yet, but I've got 
summon supplies for it. You may notice I have two flower pouches. That's because when I first started Botania, I was making myself I made myself a flower pouch to hold all the goddamn flowers. And then they gave me a flower pouch as a quest reward. Petal Apothecary. Drawers. Uh, if you've started on this map before, you may remember these drawers from a bundle of shit, a bundle of stuff downstairs, but I have uh, moved them to where they're more useful. Keycon tables. Eee. This auto jump is amusing. Let's see. The, cru the lava producing crucible. And this is a basic vanilla cobble gin with an with a random things block breaker. This is since this is one ten Minecraft, the random things block breaker does not actually automatically output its the broken blocks into an inventory behind it. That's why I w really pushed Botania so I could get a hopper hawk and have it grab the cop the cobblestone and put it in this drawer here. Let's see. And again, there used to be a cluster of machinery and things that I moved, got rid of, mostly moved. And I was informed later on that the decorative blocks that were involved in that cluster could have been were were lava proof, so could have been used in my um lava th lava gen cobble gen, but I had already tossed them into the sea by that point. I have so many feathers, I really need to find something to do with these feathers. See, I am still producing dirt, although not for the purpose of sifting it to make stone, as I now have a cobble gen of my own. I love this cobble gen, it's wonderful. But I am going to want to expand my farming capabilities, so that means I need dirt. Unfortunately, this mod pack has forestry. Forestry gives us some pretty great auto farms. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to be using the bees for, you know, bee things. But oh my god, I have gotten tired of dealing with bees. Anyways, I have not taken this down and moved it because I am worried about breaking it. I need to look it up, look up if I can do that or not safely. Let's see, I've got a set of the cooking for blockheads blocks in an, in a chest, but I have no place to put them just yet. So that'll be probably the next place I'll be carving out after the machine room. Okay, but here is my place as it currently stands before I wind up expanding, doing some serious expansion. Anyways, catch you cats later. Also, one of my loot chests gave me blocks of ender pearl, and it was like, this is a plain reward, and I'm just like, you just gave me 16 free ender pearls. This is not a plain reward. Anyways, this time for sure.